Our stay in Bergen, Norway was remarkably short. Torpedoes, fuel, and food were rapidly loaded on board. I was amazed with how fast this was all done. The Bergen docks were buzzing with activity. Type 7 boats were in the process of being overhauled with new anti-aircraft guns and snorkels. These U-boats would be assigned to anti-invasion duty. Similar overhauls are taking place in Trondheim and in the French ports. On April 20th, 1944, U-531 was ready to depart for another patrol in the Arctic. At 8.50 in the morning, the boat slipped away from her pen. Hello everybody, Wolf back here, and welcome to episode number one of our ninth patrol in Silent Hunter 3. As you can see, U-531 is sitting nice and cozy in this U-boat pen, so we are protected from bombs while we are being uh, rearmed and refueled. The rearming and refueling process did not take very long at all. We got here on April 19th, 1944, and we are departing on April 20th, 1944, so they got us in and got us out rather quickly compared to what I was expecting. I think this may be something with uh, the hard-coded fixes. Um, I thought going in the ports would last longer, but oh, here we are. So I am not complaining. I'm excited to get back out to sea. We have our escort up ahead with a nice little barrage balloon there. So we will begin making turns for two knots to head towards her. Jawohl, Herr Kalloin. Derzeitige Fahrt. Eins. Knoten. No, it's currently April 20th, 1944, as I previously said, and our goal is to patrol in the Arctic before we meander our way into the North Atlantic and then home to Lorient. So we should just really do the reverse of what we did in the last patrol. The torpedo situation is as follows. I had no control over what we could take, and I eliminated our external reserves. Thank you very much to the commenters who informed me on how to do this in game. So I'm not even tempted by having them here. They are no longer there. But we are pretty much loaded with T3 torpedoes, the electric eels uh, with a speed of 30 knots. So that's pretty nice. We do have one T3 fat too, which will be nice for engaging convoys. And we were able to keep our T4 Falke, our homing torpedo. So we can use that in case. Oh, well, we didn't keep it. They gave us that one. We did launch our homing torpedo off in the last episode. So they were so kind to give us another homing torpedo. And we will slip out of here. Let's make a little bit of speed. Going a little slow here. Oh. The crew is all hunky-dory, as you would expect. They got their promotions and everything, and everyone's well rested. I'm actually going to try to organize these men a little bit better. Get our flat gunners where I want them. There we go. How about that? And everyone where I want them for the time being. That should be sufficient. I'm going to get my watch crew on the bridge. Everyone's at their station right at the start of the episode. We did have a transfer as well. I believe we got that petty officer flat gunner, which is quite nice. And here's Bergen. We have a man fishing there. Wonder what he's catching. But we'll go ahead and plot a nice and easy course out of here. We want to avoid colliding with any of these fjords. These are quite interesting to navigate out of sometimes. Last time we did go northwest through this one here to avoid the mines. Apparently there's mines and torpedo nets in the south, or submarine nets, excuse me, that we need to avoid. So we'll have to go out this way. I think. I believe this is the way the minesweeper led us the first time, so we're going to just replicate this and head off into nowhere. Because we are departing from Bergen, the game did not give us a patrol area. It just said we can go pretty much wherever we want, so we'll head back towards Bear Island like last time. That worked out rather well. I may head to the north of it and try to encounter convoys, but it seems like we got quite a bit of luck just patrolling right around here in this deep water. I think that's where we engaged both those convoys and sank all those tankers. Double check on the crew. Okay, everything is hunky-dory. So we will depart Bergen, Norway. I'm going to follow my little minesweeper up ahead just to be sure I don't run into any torpedo nets or anything like that. But it should be smooth sailing from here. Yeah, so I'll going. cut now and get back to you folks Knoten. soon.
Volle Fahrt voraus. Volle Fahrt voraus. Jawohl, Herr Kaloy. Please man the flag. Jawohl, Herr Kaloy. Fire up. Air raid sirens going off. Hard to starboard. Wow. Keep firing. Oh, jeez. We got damaged? Yeah, we are damaged. Hard to board. Oh, one's going down. Ooh. <laughs> wow. Okay. Keep firing. Keep firing. Give them hell. Oh, geez. We are very, very damaged. That was insane. Get this flooding out. Keep firing. Engage that one. Rotor amidships. As you can see, the futility of trying to shoot down enemy aircraft, we are not doing so hot. Wow, what an air raid. It looks like the floating dock has been severely damaged. And so have we. We took a bomb, I think. We have quite a bit of flooding going on. Anything destroyed? Lots of stuff not working. We may just have to hide out in the fjord. Looks like they are leaving. Holy shit. Okay, let's change course. 300, we can stop zigzagging now. I think we're relatively safe. That was very unexpected. Is my rudder jammed? Can we not? Hard to starboard, please. Oh, no officer at helm station. I'll stop. I don't even see the enemy aircraft anymore. Looks like the coastal batteries are continuing to fire. It's an enemy plane that landed right there. It's in smoke. Wow. Okay, let's get this boat on the move. What a way to start off the patrol. It's an air raid on Bergen. Let's go ahead and take a look at the damage. First, let's look at our floating dock, friend. This destroyer is continuing to fire its main cannon. The floating dock is sunk. It has been destroyed. Lots of merchant ships here. It looks like the floating dock sustained most of the damage. Lots of these other vessels are opening fire on the aircraft as well. And there's the Lancaster just hanging out there, <laughs> sputtering away. Wow, okay. What an exciting way to start off our patrol. Let's try to get our boat on the move. Yeah, All head standard. Am I heading 270? Let's take care of this damage now. It looks like everything's really under control. We got rattled up quite a bit. It looks like some serious damage on the conning tower and in the hydrophone room. Wow. That was something. We're going to keep our men on the flat gun for the time being. Let's get men in all compartments to begin repairs. I could end the patrol now, but I think we're going to head out to see anyway. This is all manageable. We can repair this 
as we depart, and hopefully we can have it all repaired before we leave the fjords here and relative safety. Stern quarters repaired. Okay, we're making repairs. I want to check everything. Looks like radar is not working at all. Everything else in the hydrophone room is damaged. Main pump, fuel tanks damaged. Did we lose any fuel? Oh, shit. Port diesel engine has been destroyed. That's gonna, we're gonna have to go back in the port, aren't we? Well, we're gonna sit, we're gonna sit here and attempt to repair this damage. I wanna see if this is actually destroyed. If it is, well, I'm not going out to sea with only one diesel engine, so. This may be a very short patrol. All stop. Okay, we're going to repair this damage. I'll keep you folks updated, and uh, we'll see if we have to postpone our ninth patrol. Well, we have received the damage report from the diesel room. It turns out our port diesel engine is indeed destroyed beyond repair. So I think, honestly, our only option is to head back to Bergen uh, into our pen and get this thing replaced because... Hunting without a diesel engine is going to be a pain. I was debating just leaving Bergen and heading all the way back to Norway, or Lorient, excuse me, to uh, get repairs done there, but I don't think that is going to work out for us either, so. Let's go ahead and uh, exit the patrol and dock at Bergen. Uh, thankfully, all of my crew was kept alive. Apparently... There was a lost unit. I think it's just saying that uh, we witnessed the destruction of that floating dock. We didn't sink that, obviously. But uh, starting crew 55, ending crew 55, we just lost uh, some uh, port diesel engine and some hull integrity. Stock at Bergen. That is our 10th patrol. Apparently, my crew got medals for that. And we did get 100 renown. How about that? Let's get back, back, Let's see what medals we have. Uh, some U-Boat War Badges to hand out to the crew. And we will hand these out and then get started on our ninth patrol. I will see you folks in the U-Boat pen in uh, Bergen.